Hello, and welcome to Code Next Door. My name is Andre. And my name is Chris. Today, we're going to talk about macros and common lists. So what is a macro? Uh, essentially, a macro is just a piece of code that can write another piece of code. For example, if we had the macro test, uh, that macro would essentially translate all this stuff into this stuff. So macros essentially are a way of abstraction uh, that we haven't talked about before. There's semantic abstraction, which is building out abstractions with functions and, and things of that nature, um, different meanings. And then there's syntactic abstraction, which is you can think of an advanced form of copy and paste. So how do we write macros in, in Lisp? Well, we use our uh, handy friend def macro here. Def macro um, is a macro, and it accepts three major args. The first argument is the name of your macro. The second argument are the arguments to your macro, usually in the form of a list. And uh, list, this is called like a lambda list, but I'll just call it args here. And then lastly, the body of the macro. So what code do you actually want uh, this to spit out? All right, so let's write the test macro. If we look at our example, we would like the word test and then this title to kind of do all this stuff. So let's write that up. Opening of source block and let's do death macro and the name of our macro is test. The arguments that it's going to take, well, we have the title of our test. Um, we have, well, what we expect the test to actually be. And then we have the thing that we're testing. Okay. Okay. So, um, Essentially, we would like to evaluate the thing that we are testing. Uh, so testing. And we, we need to evaluate uh, expected. And we are essentially asking those two things are equal. Okay. If they are equal, well, we'd like to print a nice message uh, to the user. So, um, I don't know. Let's use an emoji. Emojis are fun. Uh, check. This is nice. So, uh, we have that. And I guess we'd also like to know like the name of the test. So let's put in an argument in here. Uh, title. So if the test pass, we get the green check and name the test. If the test fails, so if they're not equal, that would be the test failing. Um, I guess we want the title and let's be simple. Let's just do like a, an X right now title. Okay. Um, all right. So I have finished the macro. So I, I'm, I'm pressing compile here. And down here, we are seeing the compile error. And what is it telling me? Uh, it's redefining error, little string, don't care about that stuff. All right, so let's actually, um, let's use it. So let's, let's test this out. Oops. So let's test that. Um, let's see. It's an example test. It's our first test. Let's name it. And let's say that, well, 
we say the expected is two and we're testing that one plus one is equal to two. So let's try to run this. Uh, I broke something. <laughs> well, uh, I, I really broke something and I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what I broke. So I said that a macro is a piece of code that writes code. Right now, this code, it just evaluates if what we're testing is equal to what we've expected and it prints out um, the title and then it prints out the, like the error, you know, if, if it prints out the error. What this code macro actually needs to do is return the code that we literally would like to write, not run any code, but return the code. So unless we have a special thing that we can do to um, return literally what we mean, and that's using the quote uh, quote feature. So quote just says, take this thing on the take this thing next to me and literally return that as is. So if we recompile this now. And we go down and we test our macro. Uh, it's it is complaining about something. Uh, ah, yes. So it is complaining because we have undefined variables, expected testing and title. And that's because well, the macro is doing its job now. It's returning actual code. Um, so this code here, it knows what equal means because equals in our language and formats in our language, but testing expected and title, those are not in our language. So we'd like to actually refer to the, um, the code that is passed to our macro and evaluate it because the testing and expected that we mean here is actually, uh, the code that's passed through. So if we make a slight change here, and this is some new syntax, I actually don't know what this is called. Is this called the back tick, Andre? Do you know? Um, I am not quite sure. Let me look real quick. Yeah. Um, yeah, back tick. But if you use the back, if you use the back tick instead of the quote, you go into this weird mo list mode where it's essentially, okay, Give me everything here literally, but if you see a comma, evaluate the thing next to that comma. So this is like, give me an if statement, like literally write this here. If, uh, and I actually want the equal because it knows what that means, but evaluate testing. So actually give me back what testing means and evaluate expected, give me back what expected means. And I'll have to evaluate title and I'll have to evaluate title down here. So if we recompile and then we go down here to test it. Well, let's see what the error is. Okay. It's a different error. Uh, it's complaining about the fill pointer. And that's because I'm using this function wrong. Format takes a couple more arguments. Uh, I think this is actually it. That we that's all we get. So let's test it again. And I don't see any errors. So, oh wow, look at that! Oh, it passed. So our macro works, right? It it does what we expect it to do. But how do we really know <laughs> that it works? In Lisp. Um, you can do something called macro expand. And what this function does is it takes the code that you've given it and it expands it. Oops. Uh, if I can remember the name of the function, uh, I believe it's called macro expand. That's one second. It is called macro expand. Uh, it's without the dash. All right. Um, 
Yeah, if we want to see the result of the macro expand, I think we have to print it out. I don't know if this is going to work. This is kind of bonus points at this point. Uh, yeah, it's it's because we're in Oracle, but that's the gist of macros.